Hello guys, welcome back. We came with another exciting opportunity again from Infosys Springboard. Announced the, the fifth series of internship program that is called Infosys Springboard Pragati Path to Future, which is to be organized from April to July 2025. And this is fifth series cohort five. And cohort four they announced in the month of January and they completed that from January to March. So as you can see, just four hours ago they announced the program. This is exclusively designed for the women candidates and they are going to get the training for the period of 100 days. Really, it is a very good opportunity. So once you complete this program, we can able to have self-growth and professional advancement, career development to enhance the leadership skills. This program is going to deal with the latest tools and technologies as well as Gen AI fluency. And we are going to have the development in our professional skills and we are going to learn the leadership skills as well as we are going to engage with the industry experts. So the various experts from industry are going to train us and we are going to interact with them so that we are going to gain a beautiful experience or beautiful knowledge gaining. This program is purely meant for women and during this program we are going to have the various latest technologies as well as the tools and then we are going to get very good knowledge in generative AI and we are going to enhance the professional skills apart from the leadership skills as well as we are going to engage with industry experts. That means various experts from uh, the different industries are going to interact with us and they are going to train us. So when we come to the eligibility criteria, this program is purely meant for the women and the age should be above 18 year. Only this is the precondition to apply for this particular internship program. Any women candidate who are the students and professional job seekers and those who want to restart the career or simply to enhance your skills, anybody can apply for this particular position. The last date to submit the registration form is April 6, 2025 and the program will follow the hybrid model. Among the 100 days, we need to visit any one of the nearest Enforces campuses and we need to stay back for complete one week for immense learning at the Enforces campuses and offices. So they are going to train you in the office. We need to visit the office physically which is to be near to you and in that particular campus they are going to train you and rest is completely online only. That's why we will call this as a hybrid mode. So participants from earlier cohorts who have completed the program with certificates should not be registered for cohort 5. If anybody shortlisted, if you apply, no problem. If you applied and if you shortlisted and if you got the certificate from previous cohorts, you are not eligible for this particular internship now. And if you register and if you are unable to get the certificate due to various reasons and apply for this particular internship. Once you got the registration, once the registration was successful, then they are going to review your applications and then shortlist based on the criteria and based on the eligibility. Then the completion of application form, the completion of preset learning content of two courses and one certification which will be shared with the applicants. In our previous cohorts, they didn't mention any of the courses like this. Based on our choice, we can choose any one of the courses for content as well as certification. They suggested some courses here for course recommendations as well as the certificate recommendations. Based on our choice, we can choose any one of these or you can choose any other courses also which are available from Infosys Springboard. Among them, we need to complete any two courses. Uh, one course is Basics of Business Communication, Introduction to Digital Marketing, Java Programming, Design Thinking and Saving Time by Setting Goals. So among these courses, we need to complete any two courses. And these are the certification courses. We need to complete at least one certification course from this. That is Python Developer Certification, Front End Web Developer Certification, Natural Language Processing Foundation Certification. So among these three, we need to complete at least one certification course. So if you're able to complete the certification course, then you're eligible to get the certificate. The selected candidates will receive the complete schedule for virtual sessions and the schedule in-person sessions will be shared with the only participants who have maintained the completion of their learning. That means the, the, the complete schedule they are going to share in due course, but the physical, as we said now, one week we need to stay in the Infosys campus. So for that, those who are able to complete these recommendations, that is two from courses and one from certification, those who successfully complete these courses, then only they are going to share the schedule when to visit the campus physically. They are going to review fortnightly, that is for every 15 days, they are going to review our progress, how we are doing with the courses and how we are following the uh, uh, training. So they are going to review for every 15 days and based on the evolution, you are going to be shortlisted. So now when once we click on the click here to register, it will ask you to uh, create login or already have the login with the help of that login credentials, you can log in here. So once we logged in, as you can see, name and Pragati Path to Future Cohort 5, fifth series, a 12-week program exclusively for women. And this is a, a expression of interest here. 
and uh, the, it is opening from March 21 and April 6 is the last date here. So once if you are interested, click on start survey, it is accepting. So when we click on start survey, there is a privacy agreement, you can read it, then accept and start. So when we click on accept and start, they are going to uh, uh, seeking some details from your side. We need to enter the full name, the registered email ID, which you are using at the time of login, then gender male or female, definitely it is a female here. If you select male, you are not going to be select, uh, shortlisted. So definitely it is male only, then above 18 or not, click yes or no, because if the, your age is above 18, then only you are eligible for this particular program. Then, would you like to nominate yourself for uh, Infosys Springboard? Yes, definitely. I want to nominate myself. Like this, we need to click on S here. About yourself, you need to write uh, 300 words like your family background, your education background, what courses you completed, what about any extra certifications you have or any courses you learned from Infosys. Like this, you can uh, write yourself about uh, 300 words. Then, what is your current employment status? These are all eligible and based on your status, you can select any one option. If you are the student, click on student or if you are uh, completed the graduate looking for job, click on here and graduate already employed, you want to enhance your skills, click on here, postgraduate and postgraduate employed, seeking job change. If you want to change the job, click here, seeking, seeking re-entry to workforce, retired, unemployed. Like this, anyone can apply for this particular internship. Educational qualifications, undergraduate, graduate, postgraduate and PhD based on your qualification, you can choose anyone here. And if you are the student, kindly provide your full name, city and college or university. You need to, uh, you need to specify the complete address of your uh, organization in which college you are studying and address of that particular college. And what type of college it is, government or private. As we are students studying in one particular college and we need to take approval from the college uh, principal or head of the department. They given mail idea, springboard iPhone support at the rate infosys.com. So whatever the approval letter we took from the head of the department or the principal, that approval letter has to be shared through this mail ID by specifying your name as well as your official mail ID. Then how you are going to, how you are get the information about this particular program. I received mail from Infosys, I saw social media, friends, my institution or other, any other you can select here. Then in which city would like to attend? As, as we discussed now, we need to spend complete one week of time in nearest Infosys office and they are asking you in which city you are going to attend that particular program. So which is near to you, you can select any one of that particular city. These are the various uh, cities where the Infosys campus is available. You can choose any one based on your requirement and based on your the based on the city which is near to you. Choose your preferred learning path. Three paths here: IT Foundation, Artificial Intelligence, and Citizen Data Science. Choose any one of these, then click on Submit. So once you click on Submit, based on the data what you submitted, you evaluate your uh, form. If shortlisted, you are going to get the confirmation mail by stating the complete schedule of the corresponding internship or training. That's all for now. If you have any queries, simply comment on me so that I will write a reply. Thank you. All the best.